Hi, I'm Leanne Barakat, and you're here today watching Five Minutes with Mike Hargraves, lead singer of the folk rock group Mishu. Hi, Mike. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Great. Well, Mishu is Windsor's homegrown secret, but recently has become a well known name in Canadian folk rock. Can you tell me about that journey? Um, it's been a long one. We've been kind of playing for the past three years, uh, building it up ourselves, going with the DIY approach, uh, recording our own music in the beginning and kind of letting that develop, getting more people uh, on board and investing their, uh, you know, their talents and time into uh, the project. And so now we're here and a couple of years later. And Through all the experiences Mishu has been through, do you find that your style of music has evolved or matured with the band? I think it absolutely has, and it's a, a lot to do with uh, you know budget and materials. Originally, when we started, we were a folk band using mo mainly acoustic instruments and traveling without amplifiers or anything, just plugging in right into the system and trying to get some music going. Uh, and now that the you know the budgets increased with more touring and friends and things like that, it's gotten to the point where we can afford amps and things like that, which have changed the sound, which have changed our inspiration, which have changed the writing process. So the sound has changed over time uh, and usually based uh, in relation to the instruments that we had and the size of venues we were playing in. Okay, and Misha was recently awarded Artist of the Year at the Verge Music Awards in Toronto. What was going through your head when you first found out? Um, to be honest, it was, it was kind of a very surreal uh, night for us. Um, we, we gathered up in the balcony to, you know, watch the last award more than anything. And our, our manager kind of got us together because we were going to, you know, lose together was our, our spirit at, the, at that point. And then we were surrounded by all these people wearing black with headsets and, you know, started pushing us down the stairs. Uh, and that's when we started to realize, like, what's going on right now? Uh, like, is there, are we like, are they gathering all the bands for this or what's <laughs> going on? Uh, and then we got to the bottom of the stairs where, uh, Brendan Canning and Kevin Drew were standing there and they had, you know, they said, oh, congratulations. And in my head, I'm like, for what? Tell us we won <laughs> or didn't win. Cause, uh, and it was, uh, it was probably only about a minute between being up in the balcony and actually being on stage, holding up the award going, we just won. So it was very sudden uh, and very exciting. And really uh, after that, it was, you know. Yeah, a very surreal moment. Yeah. yeah. And when did you first realize that Mishu has become a valuable member in Canadian folk music? Um, geez, I don't even know that we've, we've done that yet, but uh, we, I, we keep trying to, um, to grow and get our name out there. And um, becoming, becoming a member, I think, of the Canadian music scene at large is really about persistence. It's about continuing to play. It's about, you know, I think a lot of people are starting to perk up and, oh, no, that band still exists. <laughs> Oh, that's surprising, you know, because uh, it's so hard for so many bands to last. Yeah. And your latest EP, Celebrate Love, was just released. And where did that title come from? Uh, it comes from the title track on the EP. It's a four-song EP. The last song on it is called Celebrate Love. Um, the so the, the four-song EP kind of catalogs the journey from being, you know, from the sound of the coming of age of our previous record, Cardona, and uh, what's going to be probably a m more mature sound in future records. Uh, just as we, you know, naturally develop. So the the album title is Celebrate Love, and I think that kind of feeds on the fact that a lot of the, our earlier work was a little more love lost, uh, and uh, now it's starting to slowly change. Okay, and what can fans expect from this EP? You kind of just answered that bit. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think they can expect something that's uh, a little different. It's a little more uh, refined. We, we went into it and really dissected every part of it and tried to make the best choices we could for it. We're learning so many things like, you know, maybe it's not smart to rhyme heart with the word start in every song. <laughs> yeah. um, not that we did that, but, <laughs> you know, just trying to, trying to get over those, you know, really common writing moves mm -hmm. and start to try to write something a little more involved and a little more interesting. And that's what we tried to do with this. Okay, and last question, where do you hope to see Mishu five years from now? Um, probably, uh, you know, with Coldplay opening up for us or Beyonce or something <laughs> would be really nice. But uh, no, I mean, we, we really want to just keep doing it. Uh, that's always our goal whenever we go into writing new music or working on new music is we want it to create the opportunity that we can do it again because it's a lifestyle for us and it's something that we would, you know, we couldn't do anything else. Mm -hmm. So really that's only the ever, uh, only ever the goal. We never really shoot much higher than that. And 
it, we try to write the best we can do, but really that's the goal is to just keep being able to do it. And we've been really lucky that we have been able to do it this far. Okay, well thank you so much for being here. Yeah, no problem. And you just watched Five Minutes with Michael Hargraves.